welcome everyone to this video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And in this video, we're going to talk about photographing someone with glasses and how to deal with the glare. So you might have noticed if you photograph anyone with glasses that they might have a glare of the light. And I'll zoom in later so you can show you guys what I'm doing. But there's a couple ways you can actually get rid of that glare because it is kind of distracting. One of the ways is to do a basically through Photoshop. You, you would photograph the person, then you photograph again without the glasses, then you overlay them and um, get the glasses out, like erase them out, and erase the glare. The problem the reason why I don't like that way is because it's more work than it should be. Because you're photographing them, then they have to take off their glasses, and you have to make sure they're in the kind of the right position. And honestly, when you do that, in my experience, you never get them right dead on. Another way is if you have just an extra pair of glasses without the frames, then it's even easier because you're just having the glasses without frames. But then again, you can tell if it's, it's glasses without frames. It, so how do I do it? There's a very simple way. It works better if it's head on. Sideways it's kind of obvious, um, but if they have long hair, it you get hidden. So let me zoom in for you guys and actually show you how to get rid of the glare in sunglasses in glasses. So, as you see, I'm very close now, sorry. I have a pimple there. Anyways, um, as you can see, there's a couple ways, like I said, to do this. Um, one way, as the things, one of the easier ways to do it is to, if you have a light, just have it point a little more up. So if you can see if I'm looking at the light, if it's straight on at me, you kind of can see the glare. Oh, let me get, so I, there we go. So I'm looking at the light now, you can see the glare right there. That is a problem, and one of the reasons to fix it is to actually have the light pointing a little more down. You can see there's no glare right now, because um, I'm kind of um, crouched a little bit. So how can you actually get rid of the glare here? Let me uh, see if I can back up for you guys. Here we go. You kind of see the glare right there. Without moving the light, how would you actually get rid of this glare? It's actually very simple. What you do is you take the glasses and you kind of angle them down a little bit. So you kind of do that. So you can see it's a little angles. That's the reason why having long hair is a little easier, but let me see, see if I can get a shot for you guys. There we go. You kind of see the glare there? Now you don't. So you can do that. Again, it looks weird here, but like I said, if it's head on, it doesn't look too bad. If it's you have um, long hair, you can hide it pretty well. So it's, you're kind of just angling the glasses down. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. So you can see the glare there? Now you don't. So that's one of the quick ways to actually do it with glasses and without doing it with Photoshop. And it might be easier if I show you guys with sunglasses. Um, so here's a shot. Uh, I'm, sometimes, sometimes it looks kind of cool having light in the sunglasses, but say if you don't. So you can see the extra reflection here. If I point down, let me see, there we go. So if I'm pointing it down, now you don't even see the, the reflection of the light. So if I have normal, you can actually see the umbrella. Now you can't. But then again, it looks kind of stupid, I think, from the side, so that would be more like a head-on shot or kind of a shot like that. So I would dump it do like that. And this is kind of the extreme because I'm looking at the light right now. So that's kind of the extreme. But let's see. Here's normal. So you can see a light there. Huh? So I would want a shot like this. You see a light. There. You just angle it up, and it still looks natural, and you don't see the reflection of light. So definitely a good tip to learn. So that is the way I get rid of glares and sunglasses, or any glasses in general, without using Photoshop. Because this is a lot easier and a lot less time consuming than using Photoshop. Because you don't want to, it's been overused before. I've heard, heard it when I'm on film sets, and I hear it a lot of time with photos. You can fix it in post. Why waste 10 minutes in post when you can take one minute away in production? So definitely try to do more stuff in camera than you actually can do it, let's say, in post. And we try to look the way to do it right from camera. So you don't spend too much time in post, you're spending more time in production. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other comments about moving glasses from your glasses or sunglasses, or any other tips, please comment down below. I like learning new stuff about photography. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also, you can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page where I post everything there. Also, I'm new on Snapchat, so please follow me there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.